Hey guys, it's me, Aaron Fantasy. Back once again, giving you everything treating and making it relate to you because you are all that matters. Alrighty, I was just so excited when the Carters came out with the album, honey. Okay, and I want to report live, but honey, I don't see my feelings because I don't see no comments and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need you guys to start commenting, okay? I would like to some talk with people, talk to me, okay? Or else I'm gonna get my feelings and not make videos, okay? So, Trinity things within right now right now is the freaking monday the second of july oh my gosh it's like my birthday about two weeks yeah started i found two topics we could i could talk about stay tuned for that <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. If you haven't liked this video, go ahead and like this video first. Like it, okay? And subscribe if you haven't done so. Alrighty, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Alrighty. Why Beyonce and Jay Z's joint album didn't debut number one? Ooh. For all of the Beyonce and Jay Z fans, they can control the powers that be. The Billboard's charts. Ooh. Despite dominating the conversation, music industry, and the universe with their surprise joint album, Everything Is Love, they ultimately were the favorites in this week's Billboard's 200s. Instead, they lost out to, of all things, a boy band. Just when you thought those were dying art. Separately, B, B, B and HOV, Hovey, nabbed the number one albums in their solo careers. But it's no secret. Beyonce and Jay-Z pride themselves on ownership and the share of Mongoose ethos. What's better than one billionaire too? Together they have a financial stake and own streaming service title which have chosen to make them prevent home for all their work moving forward. Alright. Exclusively the widow play a large role in their fair to number one for starters album was released on a Saturday, where the global album release day was Friday. That means they lost a full day against their competitors on the week of the Billboard track, their album performance. Now for numbers, Everything Love debuted 123,000 album equivalents, 70,000 of which were traditional album sales, 4,000 track equivalent albums, which counts digital single sales, and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Alrighty. And the Billboard 200 does not count video streams toward the chart. Mm. So the millions of views on YouTube for the Carter's Ape Shit video wrapped up that week meant nothing except for the Hot 100 which chart songs. What? I didn't know that. Oh my goodness. I'm about to release me an album, honey, on, on YouTube and stuff. And I'm like, uh uh. What they saying about this Triple X Session? Oh, it charted behind the Carters. Wow. I'm gonna look at that in a minute, but we're not talking about that. So, okay. Hmm. Everything's tying together on this channel. <laughs> so, their album didn't debut number one because it was released a day later and stuff like that. And I feel like it would probably be number one if they, she gave her beehive, you know, notification that she was going to release it. But at the same time, she don't do that, okay? So, I mean, but I didn't even know till later either. So that's probably why I did debut number one anyway. So a lot of people didn't even know. And then normally, you know, maybe the word didn't go out quick enough and whatever it's like that. And then maybe she didn't release it out to where people can buy it and everything of the sort. So, but I just know as a trending channel and everything of the sort, I didn't even find out until the day after that it was released. So that's probably why I didn't make number one. So I think that's an inaccurate news feed and everything. And I'm pretty sure she up there now. Okay. Anywho, let's go on to topic number two. 50 Cent calls out Jay-Z for releasing the Carter's album the day after the Nas record. Mm, let me see what's going on here, honey. It's 
kind of interesting. We're talking about 50 Cent and the Power episode just came out, honey. Yes, God. I got to catch up. Thanks for reminding me, you guys. Got to catch up on the Power so I can get on there. Y'all want to do, if you want me to start doing the review of the Power, honey, let me know in the, below in the comments. I need somebody talking to me. Okay, I need people talking to me. All right. 50 Cent has called out Jay-Z for releasing the Carlos album the day after Nas long way to return. Jay-Z and Beyonce released their joint album Everything is Love June 16, one day after Nas put out his Kanye West produced Nasir. Hmm. Didn't that name already be used already? That was fucked up said they said, you know, fucked up what they did to Nas, 50 Cent said in an interview, that's fucked up. I know what you did to Nas, Jay, he nodded, referring to Paris former beast, this ninja still slapping him without everybody noticing. Nas and Jay-Z were involved in a few 90s for failure to show studio versus the reason for down as a trade so far from the current star. And remember Ross saying and not as Nas don't do it with H O V Hovey. After that Nas was but I'm not blah blah blah. What the fucking mean man and saying or whatever I do, but blah grimy does nothing stupid, quiet, but grimy stuff. He is he, a different way of doing things. It appears on Drake's new album, Scorpion. Meanwhile, Jay Z appears on Scorpion. He sees Scorpion here, see everything tied up. Mm -hmm. And then um, he appears to, on the track Talk Up. I actually like that song, Talk Up. I listened to that on the radio. That can't, this song's just, you know, Drake's Scorpion album. And I kind of like it now. Okay, it doesn't seem like it's going to be like the boring, you know, slow with the damn. But you got those little snippets, the little snippets that take from old school things that you know Drake like to do and everything of the sort. It doesn't seem that way, and I kind of like that. So I'm okay. I can't wait to listen to it. I'm excited. Like, Death of Trayvon Martin, that song. Oh, that's what that song? But I, I didn't really hear that. But anyway, that's it. <laughs> 50 Cent, sit down. Sit down. I don't I don't understand with this beef he's trying to grill up. I think he just trying to do that to promote Nas' album, which I would not be getting and stuff. I'm not. I don't care. I didn't even know about Nas until this, and that's probably why, he, why he did it. <laughs> you know, as a trader channel and do it right, I do. You can put the, t you know how they linked up right here. This, 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 this blog, the Scorpion album, the the um Carter's album, and then Nas. Did she, you heard, you, you know, see all the, and then this is within the trending topics within my channel right now, okay? Did you see how they linked those up? Then they put Triple X and Stacey on his album just came out as well. That's four, that's four people right there. So, yes, God, that's what he's doing here. It's this, cause it's, I'm just thinking it's stupid and stuff and everything, and then it is stupid, it's stupid. But if it's stupid, honey, that means it's nothing. He just, it just they're just doing that just to make sales and have you talking have you talking but i'm not stupid because i do this all the time and um yes god and um that's what they do that's what they do that's what they do but anyway how does this relate to you honey i just showed you what they do <laughs> that's how you're like oh my god that bitch air fantasy oh got me woken up to this stuff okay but anyway, I'm excited for Beyonce, the Carters, and everything. Am I gonna get the album? I'm, you know, you two, you know, the only reason why I, I would get an album is to support. And I feel like they got enough support. So I'll wait till the shit get on YouTube, okay? <laughs> eventually they're gonna get on YouTube, so what's the point of making, you know, I mean, buying an album? I'm just like my female friend. Shout out to you, Brady. Hi. What's the point of buying an album, okay? I thought it was rude. I'm like, what do you mean you ain't gonna buy an app? I understand you, girl. I understand you. <laughs> and as a Beyonce fan, honey, in the Beehive, I'm, okay, now I will say I am in the Beehive, okay? And you be offended with anybody say these niggas about, what do you mean you ain't gonna buy <laughs> But I understand. I ain't buying a damn album for me, okay? She got enough coin, okay? We're gonna wait till we get, I see her. I'm gonna see her on YouTube, okay? How you doing, all right? Video. Let me know what you guys think about the video and everything. So let me know what you think about everything that I, um all the latest topics about them. And yes, God, I just, I love doing this dialect. Do this all the time. So like this video if you like this video and share, 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 share. Comment, comment, comment. I don't like somebody talking down there to me. Okay, okay. You love peace and be live. And be sure to hit that like button. And subscribe, become one of my dreamers, and get your trending life here at AF Live.